I am announcing officially that I am quitting Age of Empires 4 on computer. See you later, keyboard and mouse losers. I am out. Gamers, today I am finally revealing that I am full-time switching to Xbox. I am becoming an Xbox professional. I just caught a fly mid-air. That's a pro gamer right there. That's an Xbox pro gamer. I played, uh, so this took a while because I was at Gamescom like three weeks ago, but it is what it is, right? So uh, I played Xbox AOE 4, um, and I kind of wanted to share my experience uh, about it and tell you guys what I thought and some of the things they had there that the PC does not have. So I'll show you a couple of videos. They're not very, you know, Omega high quality videos, but it is me playing. So this is me playing on Xbox, I think like second time or something. And I'm someone who does not know how to use controller whatsoever, okay? I do not, I'm terrible at it. I don't know how to play any games. I don't know on a console. So I thought I'm gonna be really, really bad at it. And I thought I'm gonna struggle quite a bit. But it actually felt a lot easier than I thought it would. So obviously the commands are all different. You know, I'm not going to explain every single command. I just kind of wanted to talk about my experience there. But I got a, 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 I got used to it pretty fast to the point where people were like, are you sure you didn't play this before? I'm like, I just arrived. It's my second game. Calm down. Um, now, there's also like commands for hotkeys. There's commands for like, there's shift clicking basically. Um, you can hotkey your units, you can tap through landmarks, there's a hotkey for that, you can tap through military units, so just like you can like tap through select idle army for example that I use on, uh, or idle army or idle villagers on PC, you can also here like tap through uh, military in general, which I assume you can do on PC too, so a lot of that felt nice. The one thing that kind of was rough for me is dragging around on the map. Like, I don't know if there's a faster way to do that, but that's kind of what I struggled with. Now, on Xbox, and I talked this, about this on my stream a little bit, uh, there is auto villager queue. And I know a lot of people are against this on PC, but I actually think that if I think there would be a great benefit if they made it to the PC with some kind of uh, downtime or punishment. For example, uh, on Xbox, you can turn, you can select your town center and turn on uh, auto produce villagers and it just auto produces villagers for the rest of the game. It's normal creation time, everything's normal. But if they were to do it on computer, uh, I would hope they would put at least like two, three or even five second delay like per villager so that it doesn't replace me auto making villagers or a diamond guy uh, or sorry manually making villagers but the reason why I think something like that would be great for the game is because for the noobs for the new players for like the silver players bronze players gold players that don't have APM to like keep up with stuff and so they can actually enjoy the game more and it would not break the game at the top level, thus the downside of it. Now, I know a lot of people are against this because the last time I talked about this, there was like a uproar. Uh, I think like we even did a straw poll and 70% of people were up for it. 30% of people were against it, right? Um, and I think as long as it doesn't like, uh, as long as it has downside for me, it's a, you know, thumbs up because a lot of people, and I've talked to a lot of people, I know a lot of people that played RTS, I have a lot of friends that played RTS games, and the number one reason they quit is because the game is too overwhelming, right? So if you were to have some kind of auto villager queue with some kind of downside to it, like for example, a villager taking five seconds longer to create, it would be something that new players would use, but if you wanna improve more and more, you would kind of have to take off the the you know the the helping what do they call the, the the helping wheels on the bike right you got to take him off at some point and play on your own or otherwise your opponents are just going to be ahead like every five villager uh, four villagers you have the opponent would have five if they did it manually to me this is something that would uh, mostly impact like super low levels where people already struggle 
and whenever you know you feel like you're ready to take off the 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 little steering wheel or the the little wheels not steering wheels you know to do auto or to, to manually do everything you can do that and then you're also going to get rewarded by producing faster villagers uh, now i think a lot of people are against this because they're like oh it's ruining the game or um you know they're maybe being insecure that oh i got gold on my own and some guy is not going to get gold because he has auto villager production well he's not only going to have it everyone would have it right so it would be uh, on that like level an equal playing field and then if you're confident in gold that you can produce villagers on your own and get advantage that way then you can still do that and you're still gonna you know you're still gonna do better than them right so this is me bullying some guy this is a rank game by the way uh that i've played so this is me just beating some guy's ass with just mass knights and he's playing english and as you can see he's struggling quite a bit so yeah i don't know um i feel like a lot of a lot of people think they will it will take a lot from the game but again i i really wish that people would would look at it from a more beginner point of view and as someone who talks and works with a lot of different rts companies their number one problem literally all of their problem is how to reach the masses because they actually have massive interests but the interest goes down the moment they start playing the game and they get overwhelmed with the amount of things they have to do right and a lot of people you know if you're a casual player not everyone wants to macro and and be like a pro gamer some people like to build their base and build their army and they don't want to have to build villagers right and again, if they want to improve at some point, they would have to actually do those things manually. So anyway, uh, that's kind of my opinion on the auto villager. I would really dislike if it was ever imported on a computer uh, without any sort of penalty, like if it was just normal villager production, because I do think that would take quite a bit from the game for a lot of people, including at the top level. Uh, but if it's something that helps the noobs and there's a big penalty, I'm all up for noobs. I love noobs. Uh, next thing, there is the auto resource split. Now I'm gonna try find if I have a video uh, where that is shown. Let me just set it up. Oh, this is me versus Crackity. Okay, this is me versus Crackity. So there's another thing uh, that I wanted to show you that Xbox has that PC does not have. Xbox has seen a lot of players playing the game, and I wonder if part of it is because it's more casual friendly for the noobs. Now, this thing right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if I actually use it this game or not. I think I do everything manually. But this thing has an option where you open it up and you can auto split resources. Now, what does that mean? Um, basically, there's, if I remember like eight preset uh, options, okay? So for example, uh, one of the options is a it's called age up I think and what it does it's gonna automatically split the workers I think it's like 70% on food and 30% on gold no matter how many workers you have it's gonna be 70% of food 30% on gold in order for you to age up now you might be like again who needs that you just put seven on food three on gold well if you're a new player you don't really know that Oh, here it is. Okay, here it is. You can see I'm struggling a little bit what to press. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So I think this is great for new players. And by the way, this is completely inefficient. Okay, so for example, if I were to set like uh, uh, this one, this is called the age up, but maybe it's like 60, 40. I'm not really sure. 65, 35. You can see the, the red is food. I guess it's pink. It's not red, but it kind of looks red is food. Yellow is gold. So if you put this one, it's not like the workers are perfectly going to split. Like sometimes a gold villager would run on food and food villager would run on gold, right? And I think this is personally amazing if it was uh, imported on PC because it would help a lot of players. Because some players have no clue how to actually split their workers in with new saves, with you know new matchups or in general how to split stuff then you have and these are by the way i tried all of them these are not efficient like you are not going to have a platinum player even use this okay it's it's not efficient it's not that good 
but it's great for beginners and for new players. So then you have this, which is kind of balanced. Uh, it mines a little stone. I don't know if you guys can see here. Gold, wood, and then food. Uh, you have this one, which is kind of like feudal. It puts a lot of workers, like 60% on, on food, some on gold, some on wood. You have this one where it's kind of like, I guess, just a lot on stone, maybe if you want to keep or something. You have this one, which is more wood heavy for water, as you can see, which again, you don't need this many workers on food if you're playing on water. But again, for noobs, it's a great thing to use. This is like some kind of tech A jump, like a bunch of your workers go on gold. Then you have this, which is a second town center, uh, which is honestly in all of these, probably the best one together with the A jump. Uh, and then you have trade, which is like everything a little bit. Now, this is something that like, I think auto, like uh, auto villager cube might be like a controversial thing. But I don't really see the the downside of this. Okay, let me play the game. I don't really see the downside of this uh, because, like I said, these are completely, completely inefficient. I don't know if I use it at any point, uh, if I switch them around after. But I notice when you do use them, sometimes if you have a, a pre-split on like wood, a villager from the wood is going to go on food and food guy goes on wood, right? So this is not something that you would want to use because it's very wasteful and all that shit uh, but oh there's a misclick but if you do have it on right the way it works is it doesn't matter where your villager is queued it will automatically percentage wise split the workers to the resource you have on the top right and by the way you don't need to uh, use it you can just disable it and i think soon i actually just disable it and um, i just go on my own so this is a game, yeah, Cracked and are playing next to each other. He chose English, I chose French again, because I figured the easiest way to win is just make French knights. Because, you know, we're both noobs at this, and it's hard to micro, and it's hard to, um, hard to play, especially for us that don't have experience on Xbox. Yeah, like I said, I, obviously, if I had to choose between do I stay on a computer or go on Xbox, obviously I'm going to choose PC, because that's something I grew up on. And I actually was kind of under the impression, like, why, um, you know, why would I, why would anyone play a 4 on Xbox uh, or RTS in general? But after playing it, as someone who had no experience, I was like, oh, I, I can see people playing RTS here with uh, no problem because if that's something you're used to, I can imagine you're much more comfortable playing on the Xbox, right? Overall, um... It has, I would say, uh, uh, some options that I think should be added to the game. It feels like it has a little bit more options in general to like what you can do and all the stuff. Um, but the game is definitely playable. And um, I'm also like some people said that because you can't play crossplay, you can't play Xbox to PC. But I honestly, if it was uh, crossplay, I think that the crossplay guys would absolutely get destroyed. Wait, what did Crackley just do there? Oh, I didn't... Wait, is this... Is he making, like, a customized villager priority queue? Yo, I didn't even know that's a thing. So you can make custom ones, too. That's really cool. Uh, you can customize it? That's really cool. So you can make, like, one for English, one for French, and stuff like that. Which, again... Um, as long as it's inefficient and not good, I'm up for it. Uh, a lot of you guys maybe don't know, but in AoE 2, there was, there's an auto scout. Uh, now, there's no auto scout here, but uh, there's an auto scout in AoE 2, and apparently a lot of people molded when it got introduced, but it is inefficient, and now, like, top players don't use it, but, you know, low league players use it, because, uh, let's be honest, if you watched any of the FFAs I do, like the bronze, silver, gold guys, they scout for about three minutes, and then their scout is just AFK. So... Yeah, all these things, like if you look at it from objective point of view, I think they would be great for the game because RTS, like I said, has a real problem of people starting out without feeling, over, feeling overwhelmed. And I think a lot of these things help the noobs without ruining the experience for like the more hardcore players or more competitive players. And when I say hardcore or competitive players, I don't mean just conquerors, like there's a lot of players in Gold League that are competitive, and I know it might sound funny, they're competitive, but they're gold. 
but competitive doesn't necessarily mean high rank. Some people are bad at the game, but they're competitive and like to win, right? And if you're one of those people, you can just not use auto queue, do everything manually, and you get an advantage because of that. So yeah, now I wanted to make this video the moment I came back from Gamescom and give my honest review on it. Microsoft Relic, whatever, didn't ask me to make this video. They just wanted me to try it and kind of uh, give my opinion on it. And I pretty much told them the, the same thing. So I wanted to make this video right after I came from Gamescom, but then I got messaged that there's a package. So I was like, it would be a good video if I waited for it. Ah! Yeah, I have to tilt it. Let me see if there's no information, Monka. So I figured, why not wait? So boys, yo boy cutie got sent. A fucking Xbox. Let's fucking go. So anyway, guys, I am announcing officially that I am quitting Age of Empires 4 on computer. See you later, keyboard and mouse losers, betas. I am out. I'm out. Now, Mareka and I were talking. We don't have a... <laughs> we don't have a TV. Where the fuck are you stuck? So the question is, do I buy it on... Can I connect it on... I can connect it on screen, right? The connect to monitor? Okay, I don't need... I'm not buying TV then. So, if in the future... There's some kind of Xbox tournament with ten million dollars. I got the weapon. I got the tools. Pokemon. Struggling with scissors, yo, chat. Shut the fuck up, you're struggling in gold. With keyboard and mouse, by the way. Wait, what did I do? See what you did? Okay, are you ready? Did I pause it again? Okay, are you ready? Increase the okay. We got these, it's a little chair. <sighs> what is this? Power your dreams. I'm gonna destroy some dreams. Shatter. Ooh, yo, are you guys ready? I mean, this is the worst Xbox you've ever seen. Give that guy a day. The best goddamn Xbox box reveal. Yo, look at that. Look at that. That looks fucking clean, baby. That's clean. You know what, maybe I'll do an Xbox stream sometime, actually, for fun. Grab rank one there real quick.
Okay, we got some cables. Dude. Guys, get your pog champs ready. Maybe poggers too. Get your poggers ready. Ooh. Oh. 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 Shit. But look at that. Yo, that's clean right there. How do I make it sit up? Yo, that... That's clean right there, brother. Sheesh. Is there anything else? Okay, guys, this is the best part. Are you ready? Yo. The batteries are here, too. Y'all, let's not forget the. Oh my god, I almost knocked it over. The cables. God damn, brother! Let me. There it is. There it is. I am an Xbox gamer. It is officially announced. There it is. Now. I want to obviously give a huge thanks to Microsoft and Relic um, for sending me this. I love it. I'm definitely going to try playing on Xbox. And I'm definitely going to do a stream on Xbox. Because I think it would be pretty fun to do like a, like a road to rank 1 on Xbox. Because why not? You guys are going to see me struggle. You're going to see me Pepega units. It's an ad stream. It's actually not an ad stream. That's the That's the... I was going to make this video anyway. And as you can see, I'm destroying crack in, in the background. Let me let me remove this a little bit so you can see his point of view getting dented in. Um, did they give you Game Pass account too? No, I don't think so. I don't know how that works, honestly. I don't know how Xbox works, but I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, thank you to Microsoft and Relic for sending me this beauty. Now, I had some issues with the Serbian customs. They were like, send us this paper and this document. And I was like, I don't, I didn't purchase it, so I can't send you the receipt. And they're like, okay, like, who said? So then I sent the document from Microsoft. And at the end, I was like, bro, can you just fucking tax it? I did not buy it. Okay, I did not buy it. I don't have the receipt. And then they sent it to me, and it didn't tax me. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. If we were somehow able to connect PC to Xbox, Core could play against me on keyboard and I play on controller and maybe he gets the win. You know what I mean? Maybe he gets the dub. Probably not. Uh, let me actually just... Let me actually see something. I might have a treat for you guys. Guys, wait, what is this? Wait, who are you? Like, who recorded this, man? Guys, just... Just go like this. Okay, this is Core and I at Gamescom playing on PC and mouse. Both of us, okay? I want you to just see one moment. Look at Core. That's Core's POV. Okay. What's the game time? Oh, we can't see the game time. The game time was like 6.30. Okay, I just aged up. It's like 6.30. You can hear Core molding. Core losing archers to spearmen. Look, I just I'm just adding production right now, right? We didn't even start playing. You guys ready? I can't even adjust my production build. Are you do you hear him cope? Listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. I can't shift. It's not working. I press shift I get to my TC. It's not working. I can't even adjust my production buildings to my hotkey. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Okay. 
<laughs> and he rage quit. Yeah, he rage quit. Rage quit. He got absolutely destroyed. And then I got Xbox because I beat his ass. Let me tell you, Kor lost three archers to three spearmen. Three archers to three spearmen. Damn. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Expect uh, Xbox gamer stream video stream getting rank one on Xbox, because why not? It's probably gonna take me five days tops. Uh, maybe I'll just do one sip, maybe not. Yo, this got a, this has a blue. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can see right there. Ooh, look at that blue, brother. So I'm gonna do that uh, sometime. I don't know when. This is not a sponsored video, okay? Even if I made no video, they would have sent me this. So, just saying. I could have said Xbox is shit. But I didn't. Because I actually had fun. So, that's it. Again, thank you for my to Microsoft and Relic for sending this. Appreciate it. We're gonna put it to use, and I'm glad I don't gotta buy a, buy a TV. YouTube gamers, check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now beating Core in one-on-one. -on -one. And he's rage quitting at six minutes or I'm beating people with Xbox and when I said with Xbox I don't mean like physically I mean in Xbox video gaming beam bada boom